Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've got a fun one for you today. If I scroll down the page, we've got a little parallax section that's going to pop in as it goes up. We've got a little bit of info fading in there. We can stop it, read the info. As I go up a bit more, the info is going to fade out. Now we've got a little call to action button fading in over our little parallax image there. May have looked a little glitchy because of my screen recording software, but that's actually pretty smooth. Really easy to do, no coding involved in this today. We're just using the inbuilt features of the DV theme itself. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Once enabled, let's go down and I'll simply delete this section and we'll start from scratch. Okay, well, I'm going to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. Inside mine, I'm going to put a single column and a single row. Inside that first column, I'm going to put a blur module. That way I can have a little icon and a little bit of info. Call it whatever you want here. As I'm going to have a sort of space picture of the Earth, I'm going to call it space flight. And for a bit of fun, I'm going to use the AI plugin from Divi Supreme modules that I demonstrated the other day. Obviously, put in whatever content you want. Let's say I want 100 words. Let's say write 100 words about the benefits of space flight. And this is what it's come up with. Great. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use that. There it is, it's popped it down below. That's a fun little feature right there. Well, my blurb's only taking up a small part of the screen, about 550 pics. I want it to take up the whole, the available, which is the row. So I'm going to go over to design. I'm going to go to sizing. Content width at the top. There's a default 550. I'm going to put in 100%, 100, and the percent sign. There we go, that's more like it. But I don't want a great big image. I'm just going to have a little icon there. So if we go back to the content tab, I'm going to go down to image and icon. I'm going to hit use icon. Let's search for a rocket, perhaps. Plenty to choose from with Divi. They just teamed up with Font Awesome. Let's use that little space shuttle thing. That works for me. Great. The next thing I want to do is put all my text in the middle. So I'm going to go back over to design to text. I'm going to pop it in the middle. I'm actually going to make it light in color. It'll disappear into the background there. And while we're over here, I'm going to make my little icon white too. And again, it'll disappear into the background. I'm just still in design, image and icon. I'm going to turn it white. Then I'm going to go back to content. Let's give this a background color of black. So I've gone to color. Right down here, I've got black. There it is. Now we can sort of see the shape that it's going to be. I want it to have rounded corners. Obviously, it wants to have a bit of space, top, bottom, left, and right. So let's do that. Back to design. That title text right there, I think I'll bold that up and make it a little bit bigger. So let's make it bold, uppercase. And let's make it, say, 22 pixels. That's a bit better. If we roll on down, not going to do anything to the body text. Sizing wise, we've taken care of that. Spacing, I want to give it some padding all around. So I'm going to go into the padding. Let's give it, say, 50 pixels on the top. Maybe a little bit too much. So let's say 30. I want more on the bottom. Let's give it 100 pixels on the bottom. Just sort of balance it out a little bit with the icon on the top. Left and right, let's give them 30 each. So just put in the 30. It'll put in the pics. Hit the chain. It'll do the opposite side view. Great. And I want to round off those corners a little bit. That's in border just down below. Let's maybe give them 30 pixels rounded corners. Yep, yeah, that'll work. As long as you've got the chain checked like it is by default, it's going to do all four at once. You can uncheck it and do different variations for each corners and get some crazy shapes going on. Okay, I'm going to go back to my content and that black background. I'm going to click on the black field. Variegated slider is opacity. I'm going to take it down so we can see a bit of the image behind when I put it in the section. 
So now we've got that in place, let's go ahead and put the image in the section. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go to the section itself, blue tab for a section, green for a row, dark for a module. We'll go into the section. And again, background is always under content under the first tab. And we've got color, gradient, image, background, video, background, pattern or background mask. And you can combine several of these things. We've done plenty of videos about that. But for this one, let's just add a background image. We'll pop in that same spacey picture. And there it is right there. And that's kind of nice looking as it is, but there's no actual motion. So we've got a few options. If we just roll down a little bit, we can choose to use a par parallax effect. If I switch this to on, now when I roll up and down, it's actually moving at a different rate from the foreground, the background image. It is moving, but just at a different rate. And we've got another option called CSS. And that's what I'd actually call fixed background, whereas the image stays exactly where it is. And whatever's on top rolls over the top of it. And that's pretty dramatic. I do like that. But for this one today, I'm going to use true parallax. While we're in the section, I want to make my section a little bit bigger than that, really. I want to make sure that it stays a good size on all devices and this will work on all devices i think we'd probably just hide this first text part but we'll take a look at that in a little while so while i'm in here let's go over to my design down to sizing again for the height i'm going to get, say give it a minimum height i want it about 60 percent of the screen so i'm going to say 60 VH for viewable height. That's actually not far from what we've got here. Let's make let's up that to 70. So I am going to add a button anyway, so it's not going to make a whole lot of difference. Okay, well let's save that now and let's add our button. I'm going to roll over our blur module there. I'm going to hit the little dark button to add a new module. I'm going to use a simple button module for this. And there it is. The reason mine's purple and blue. It's where I've got it set up in my customizer. Well, we're going to change this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So put it whatever you want to put in there. I'm going to say learn more. And obviously, you're going to want to link your button somewhere. Take your visitors wherever it is you want to take them. I'm going to just put a hashtag in as I don't have a real URL. Always best practice. If you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab. That way your site will stay open. Great. Let's go over to design now. I want my button in the middle. So I just hit alignment there and hit the middle. Now let's roll down to the button itself. I'm going to style this slightly differently. So inside the button, just turn the use custom styles for button switch to yes. Button text size, I'm going to leave that. Text colors fine as white. Button background, I'm going to give it a black background, I believe. And again, I'm going to take a bit of the opacity down so we can see a bit of the image behind by clicking on the black field, pulling the variegated slider down. So we've got a bit of a hint of the picture behind there, but we'll still read that writing nicely. Yep, yeah, that'll work for me. Button border width, let's give it a couple pixels. I'll leave it as white there. Button border width radius, let's make that round. Let's give it, say, 30 pixels. Don't want to change the letter space sync the fonts fine with divi there's just a huge amount of fonts to choose from and you can also upload google fonts and things like that if you need to i'm going to leave mine just like that i will make it up a case i'm not going to have a button icon that as you saw earlier there's plenty to choose from okay well let's make it stand out a bit with a bit of reverse kind of box shadow uh, so i'm going to go into the box shadow i'm going to put it on that first one can't really see much, but if I change the color of it from the default gray to perhaps a white, gives it that little glow effect. I think that's quite nice. So if we go back up now, the spacing, I'd like it to be a bit wider. So I'm going to give it, say, 50 pixels left and right. Put in the 50 again, hit the chain, it'll do the opposite for you. Great, that's just what I wanted there. So there's our little section. That's kind of nice just with the parallax image back there. But I kind of like these to fade in and out. I like that one to fade in, stay there, fade out, and then the button to appear later like we saw at the beginning. 
So let's save our changes now. And we can actually create some scroll effect. So let's go into our little blurb module here, dot little tab for the module, little cog. And if we go over to the advanced, and again, this is common to all Divi modules. If you go over to the advanced, roll down, you'll find scroll effects. Well, I kind of want this to come in, scale in from nothing. So start really small and then scale in, and we'll probably fade as well. If we look at these, we've got vertical motion, horizontal motion, fade, which I'll use in a minute, and scale also. You can also rotate and blur if you want to. So I'm going to start off with the scaling just below. I need to enable scaling up and down, switch that to on. I'll roll up a little bit. That gives us this little scale. That's the bottom of our screen at the bottom here. That's the top of our screen at the top there. And we can do different things at different intervals up the screen. So with me, I want it to really start off at 0% or invisible pretty much at the bottom of the screen. Then around middle of the screen, till about 70%, I want it to be 100% visible. So you can grab these little arrows and specify a little region. So I'm going to take mine from 50 to 70%. Then let's say when it gets up to perhaps 80%, I want it to disappear back out again. So I'll put that on zero. Let's try that. As you can see, bottom of the screen, it's coming in, it's growing. It's going to stay there until the 70% mark. Then it's going to fade back out again. And at that 70% mark, that's when I want my little button to start fading in. But I think I'll have a fade effect on this as well. So it sort of does disappear quite nicely. So let's go back up and you can combine all kinds of effects. I'm going to hit the fade. I'm going to switch it to on. Again, we've got another little bar. So when it starts out at the bottom of the screen, that's fine. I don't want to see anything at all. I might bring that up till about 20% so that we don't see anything at all until after 20% or at least around that size. When it gets to perhaps, let's say 60%, I'm going to click on the little circle there and roll it up to 60%. I want it to be fully visible. So from 20% to 60, it'll start fading in. And I want it to stay visible till about 80%. And obviously adjust this for what works for you. Then I want it to be invisible again. Okay, so it's going to start off and it's going to fade in, fade up. Gets about there, it's going to start fading out again and disappear. That's going to work for me. So let's work on that little button next. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go into the button itself. Again, go over to the advanced. Roll on down to scroll effects. For this one, I'm simply going to use a fade. So I'm going to hit the fade. I'm going to switch it to on. Let's try giving it starting off at zero still want zero at 50 percent the other one was fading out at 70 percent from memory so i'm going to put a zero in there at 50 percent then at say 70 percent or just a little bit after let's say 75 we'll have it at 100 percent so if i roll up you can't see the button it's starting to fade in now the other one's faded out and it's in fully there and of course people could hover on it and do their thing and as you go back down, it's going to do the reverse effect. So there we have it. We've got pretty much what I started out to achieve. Let's save our changes here. Hit the little purple button to save draft or publish if you're ready. We'll exit the visual builder. Roll on down. There's our little parallax section coming in. There's our little bit of info fading in. We can stop it, read the info, continue. It's going to disappear back out again. The little button's going to fade in. It's going to stay there all the way up. And of course, it'll do exactly the same thing on the way down there. And that's a nice thing to have on your website. That's going to get people's attention pretty quickly if that sort of stuff 
appears and disappears in front of their eyes while they're scrolling up and down your site. Let's check it on tablet and mobile and see what we've got. I'm using Google Chrome so I can hit the F12 to get my inspector up. Here we have it on the iPad. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. If we roll on down, there's our little parallax image. There's our info coming in. As we roll back up the screen, it's going to disappear. And our call to action button is going to pop in. Let's check it on an iPhone. There's an iPhone 12. Well, there's our little button right there. Let's roll on down. And there's our little info coming in there. So that's going to work on all devices nicely. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, drop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.